My name's John Bonner. I'm the uh, head grower and owner of Great Lakes Growers uh, located in Burton, Ohio. Great Lakes Growers is a uh, commercial scale hydroponic lettuce and herb facility. We grow herbs and lettuce and supply it to restaurants and grocery stores throughout the Midwest. Uh, currently, we're about 145,000 square feet, so uh, growable space is probably close to three acres, and then we've got some space for warehouse and uh, utilities and things like that. We've worked with Oasis on several different projects. Uh, throughout the years, they've come up with different formulations for their foam, where we've trialed it and done commercial comparisons for them. Uh, we've worked with some uh, you know, different configurations of the foam, uh, you know, the size of the cube, and just testing how fast things grow and ultimately what kind of yield we're getting in the greenhouse. Uh, we've been working with Oasis since day one, 10 years ago. Uh, we continue to use their products today. Uh, Aeromax, like the word air, uh, means porosity, it means air to the root zone. And what that means is better roots, faster shoots, more throughput in the greenhouse, and ultimately more profitability for Great Lakes growers. If you can imagine, the more porosity or the more air space in the media, the more opportunity for air to contact the root zone. Uh, when air contacts the root zone, what we find with Aeromax is we get, instead of uh, kind of thick, uh, kind of stringy roots, we get really fuzzy, almost uh, hairy looking roots. And when you get that uh, type of result, what you see is um, you see the plant grow faster. So it's pretty simple. The better the root, the faster the shoot. Uh, well, what we found, just generally speaking over the years, is that uh, dissolved oxygen or oxygen in general into the root zone uh, makes the plants grow faster. It helps plants take up nutrition. The absence of oxygen slows everything down. And again, the goal here is throughput through the greenhouse. Anything we can do to get oxygen to the roots, the roots grow faster and the plants grow faster. Specifically, Aeromax compared to the old Horta Cube uh, grows faster. In the young plant stage, we're, we're getting two to three days uh, quicker turn time. Um, in the, in the overall scheme of things, uh, that's adding 10 to 15% production capacity in the greenhouse. Aeromax uh, undoubtedly gives us better uniformity across the, across the plug tray and also better germination. We're seeing germination rates 98% plus, uh, no matter what we're seeding, and um, that's exceptional. The biggest thing with Aeromax, relative to the old Horta Cube, is that we don't have to top dress it with vermiculite. Now with Aeromax, we don't have that labor uh, to, or, the, or the, the purchase of the vermiculite. It's definitely an improvement over the old Horta Cube. Uh, Aeromax is really easy to work with. Um, it's flexible, it's more pliable, um, meaning less brittle, so it, it doesn't have a tendency to break when you handle it, which is important. Um, there's a lot less dust in it. Um, you know, uh, less dust just means a cleaner environment to work in. So when, when a young plant uh, gets watered or, or the media gets watered, it, it's retaining moisture. And if you retain moisture for too long and you add sunlight to fertilize water on, in the media, you create algae. So to the, to the extent that we have more porosity in the media, the media tends to drain down quicker, uh, especially on the top where water can turn into algae. And there's no doubt that we see a lot less algae in the greenhouse because of that. So Aeromax does a few things for us. One, and most importantly, it increases throughput through the greenhouse. So we've got the same facility and we're able to do 10 to 15% more production without increasing costs. And actually we're reducing costs. It's easier to work with, uh, doesn't require top dressing or vermiculite. Uh, we see better germination, so we don't have to overseed or overproduce to make sure we hit our production targets. And it, you add all those things up, it's a no brainer for Great Lakes.